Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Bucky O'Hare for the NES. Uh, last time we left off, we rescued Jenny from the blue planet toward a dreaded ice world. I hate freaking ice levels. But now we're going into the biggest planet, although I don't know if it's considered the biggest, uh, longest level. I guess it could be, but then again, it's not too bad. Uh... Here, we're going to be rescuing Willy, the only human, I believe, who's in this whole space team of animals and whatnot. Uh, now, well, there's something else to say, let's just go into it. I think out of the worlds, I don't... I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of this world. It's not too bad. Certain sections are, like, a little bit of a bitch, I'm not going to lie, but... Um, I don't know. It's not a big deal. However, I must say that I... The music on this level, I... Once again, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's okay. Like I said, the whole soundtrack for this game... Pretty damn good when comparing it to, you know, 8-bit, you know? And, once again, 8-bit soundtracks, in my opinion, are pretty damn decent. They're good. You know, some of them are just amazing. Way better than the shit you got on, you know, current-gen games and... Oh, God. Actually, oh, I, has anyone ever heard of this stupid ass game? It's called Deadly Premonitions. I saw a video of it, could not help but laugh at the terribleness of that's even a word, but it was just so damn bad. It makes me wonder why, in the name of hell, oh, I turned my sticky keys on. <laughs> it, it makes me wonder, like, what in the name of hell even made this, like, Thought the designer like, what made him think that was a good game? You know, I mean, I go ahead and watch a video. Just type in Deadly Premonitions. I think it's for the 360. And um, I was like, wow. And like, I think some brave soul uh, actually made an LP of it. Or I'm not sure if it's a full LP of it, but wow. I what? No, that game. No, that's a big no-no. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else I can say about it. It's that bad, folks, so... Um, I would watch it for a laugh. There's, I, I think, just type in funniest scene in Deadly Premonition, and you'll get one of the weirdest, yet unexplained, stupidest cutscenes in the game history. Yes, it, it beats anything you're thinking of. I, I'm pretty much assure you that. Unless you guys have uh, other ideas, and or other games that are, like, as bad as what I'm talking about, then go ahead and let me know, because I just thought, I thought that was inexcusable, in my opinion. I'm like, no, no, it's like, bad game, bad me, oh, oh, I saved, okay, well, I'm not gonna, I can lose a life, it's okay. I have 16, I had 17, but now I have 16, it's okay, and I believe, yeah, well, the thing is, when you get a game over, you don't even necessarily start all the way from the beginning, I think. I think you start from your checkpoint, which is nice, you know? It's cool. However, I think what they do is, uh... I think they get rid of, uh... Something diminishes. I think it's your life bar and your power bar. So, I mean, that's that sucks a little bit, but... Then again, there's an abundance of life and, um, power bars that, uh... Really shouldn't matter, you know, but eh, whatever. Yeah, I, I hate this part. I didn't even explain what the hell's going on here. You have to ride asteroids to the other planets. I, I hated this when I was oh fudge, I should have gotten on a character to get that. Um This isn't a hard I, I remember when I was younger, yes, I hated this part, but uh it's not too bad. Uh, let me switch the Jenny here, just for something all the way at the end. Now, this scene, uh, I warn anyone who has eye problems or who gets eye strains easily, do not watch this part. I don't even know why I'm playing this, because I have astigmatism. This is probably going to hurt my eyes, but anything for my fans, or whatever, I guess, so-called fans, if I have any. So here, all you do is just jump onto these damn mine carts, space carts, whatever carts, train carts, I don't know. Cart. It's a cart. And just um, jump on these, and it'll go pretty damn fast. But don't don't even worry about enemies. Yeah, you'll see them floating around, but I don't think they ever hit you. I don't even know if they fire at you. 
And just ride it until you see the next platform and then jump off. Yes, you jump off from one cart to another, just like in real life, folks. Uh, this part, not hard. I mean, I, I, I guess I could see that it might throw someone off if you don't know where this cart is. Or maybe you're not paying attention, like I know one time, you know, maybe I'm trying to... Maybe I'm getting a hand cramp when I'm playing this or something, or I'm, I was not fully paying attention. I'm like, oh crap, wait a minute. Uh, but it, it's not bad. Here, always duck down. No, no matter what, just duck down anytime you're in this pink area. Um, you just never know if any, like, you stay, well, you should know. Just out of memorization, these spikes are going to be here, and make sure you jump quickly enough. Like that. Oop. So make sure you just jump or duck down at the right time so you don't die. And I believe this is it. Oh, wait, nope, one more. The damn game wants to trick you. Alrighty, I think that is it. So we're gonna get this and that and a one up. And we have a boss! Yay! Here's one example where I like to use uh, Jenny's power, uh, but I hate this boss so freaking much. I want to get rid of the... Yeah, it has like four or three different um, uh, attacks and, well, eh, it's kind of, yeah, I don't know, I just hate this boss. So here's her power thing right here, here's her fully charged turbo ball, so how you control it, you just kind of let it go and... Oh wow! That's actually a lot stronger than I thought it would have been. Wow. Okay then, guys. That, um... I guess Jenny's turbo ball thing really does kick ass. Ah, who knows. Thanks, Bucky. While I was held captive, I kept busy putting together a new weapon. Oh, really? How'd you get the materials for that? It's a one-shot, does-it-all blaster. You can call it Thumber. Thumber? Don't you mean Thumper? Really, Willy? It, it, that is a B, right? Thumber. That's that's a terrible name. No. Stupid Willy. Ah, oh, whatever. We got all our crew back, so let's see. Yeah, we. I guess we beat the game now. Woohoo! So, oh yeah, if you press the weapon button longer, it gets stronger. Pretty nice. I don't know if I really find a use for it, but it's nice to have nonetheless. So we won! You know, Bucky brought his brave crew together once again! Yeah! Finally! Oh, shit. Oh no, it's a trick with your toad set to capture Bucky O'Air! Great. Just freaking great. Oh yeah, that's nice. So, we rescued all our friends individually, now we all get captured! That's... that's not... cool. Wake up, Blinky! Captain, we're trapped in the Toad Mothership! No shit. They've taken my crew for sport! Captain, we must save the crew before... Before what? What's gonna happen to them, you may ask? I had, don't know. They just gonna hold them captive. I doubt they're gonna kill them. But again, I'm not sure. But, either way, we're gonna save it for next time, guys. So yeah, don't... Yeah, the plans were not the only levels, if you guys were only thinking that. Um... I believe there is... Yeah, we had to go through the whole entire Toad ship. And then I think it's the end of the game. I'm not sure. I haven't played this game in a while, but... It's fun nonetheless. So I really hope you guys are enjoying it so far. So, yeah, guys. Next time we'll be heading through all the cells and, once again... Freaking rescuing all our damn... The uh, crew members again. Which we were just finished doing, but now... <sighs> you gotta do it again. That's always fun. So, yeah, guys, as usual, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Bucky O'Hare for the NES. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.